Greetings YouTube, I'm going to sh show you a card trick. This is called My Favorite Card because, well it's pretty simple because it involves My Favorite Card. Pick that and I'm just going to put that right there. Well, now that I've picked a card, I think you should pick a card too. So first let's just cut the deck and give it a shuffle. Can't go wrong with a good shuffle. And then, now I'm going to ask you to pick a card, but since you're not here, you're going to pick uh, that one. Alright, that's your card. Now that you've picked that, we're going to take it, and I'm just going to slide it into the deck, like so. Now, to mix it up some more, we're going to cut the deck again, and might as well do it once again. You know what? One more time for good measure. There. Now the deck's all mixed up, and now we're going to use my favorite card, the Jack Clubs. Well, this is one of my favorite cards because A, in Euchre, it is one of the more powerful cards, and plus, it's magic. See, my card is going to be able to find your card. And you're like, well, that's impossible. There's so many cards in here. How am I going to be able to do that? Well, pretty simple. I'm just gonna mix the cards up here. We'll get my card lost in the deck. Now we're gonna cut it. Alright. Now I'm just going to wave my hand over the cards and voila! Now only two cards in the deck are face down. My card and your card. Alright, as you can see I've switched camera angles, so now let's learn how to do this trick. Well, the first thing you're going to do is actually select what your favorite card is. But it doesn't matter, so you really can pick your favorite card, be it like the Queen, an Eight, an Ace, but for this we'll just use the Ten of Diamonds. And you just set that aside, you don't need it right now. Then you can do whatever you want, cut, shuffle, just to emphasize the fact that you're not setting up the deck. Then once you do that, you ask the spectator to pick a card. So you go through the cards, and they'll select whatever one they want, and in this case it will be the five of hearts. Then you're going to do what's called a table cut. A table cut is when you can control the card to the top. Now, you take the, select, the spectator's card, sorry, and you slide that in about a third of the way down the deck like so. Then you're going to push it in about halfway. Then the final step, well not final, but you're going to place your middle finger here at the front of the deck. You're going to place your pointer finger at the top and your thumb at the bottom. Then you're going to push the card in until there's just a little bit of space left. And right when you do that, push the card down as well. Then you can get a break. It's, then you can hold that with either the base of your hand or your pinky like that. Then you can say, now we're going to cut the deck, which you can do. You grab about halfway down this top portion of the deck here and place it there. Then you're going to grab the final packet above the break, put that there, and then at the break. This keeps the selection, the five of hearts, at the top of the deck. Now, this is part where you can do any false shuffles or false cuts that you want to do. There's this all the while, you just need to make sure that you keep the five of hearts at the top of the deck. You can even skip that if you don't know any false cuts. Then once you do that, you say, we're going to take my favorite card, in this case the ten of diamonds, and you place that right on top of the deck. Now what you've just done is to place your card directly on top of the spectator's card. Alright, then you're going to go into what's called a browy reversal. The first thing you have to do is get a break over whatever cards you want. So you can look through the cards, say, comment about how many cards there is and you don't know where the card is. Then grab the two cards that you want, which are yours and the spectators, and then push them in like you're straightening the deck. And when you do that, get a break with your pinky. Then you can keep that break. Then, as for the actual reversal, grab the deck, maintaining the break with your thumb, and grab it about halfway down, like that. 
Then, you're going to pull the bottom cards off, flip them over, and place them on top of the break on the two cards you got, like that. Then, grab the rest of the cards, flip them over. What you've just done now is made that only two cards are facing the opposite way, yours and the spectators. Then once you do that, you can cut the deck, which gets the yours and the spectator's card about to the middle, which you can see if you look real closely. You'll be able to see it with your actual cards. Then once you do that, you can wave your hand, say the magic words, do whatever you do before spreading the cards out and finding the two of the cards that are remaining. And for the best dramatic effect, don't even look at them, because the top card is going to be your card, and the bottom card is going to be their card. Well, there's the trick. I made it myself. Um, keep practicing. Have a good one.